Hallo, goedemiddag, goedenavond, good evening. Hey! Shit. Thank you so much for this warm welcome, but it was supposed to be the other way around. So welcome to uh, not Hacker Hotel 2021, because we had Corona. Not 2022, because limitations were in effect. But welcome to 2023. Thank you so much. I have an agenda, and just straight after the agenda, um, there will be a short um, break by NFIR. They will tell something about the CTF. Five minutes max, uh, they promised me. And then I have five minutes for every bullet point, but probably be quicker. And then we go on with the rest of the program. So. First of all, this is the agenda for tonight. Um, after the NFR talk about the CTF, I will talk about some event statistics, about some funny stuff that happened during organizing, a word about our wonderful sponsors. I want to thank some friends. Then the obligatory house rules. We need them, but they will also help you and serve you. Um, some information about the batch, the merchandise, some history, a project of uh, Dennis van Zuilenkom, shoot all the hackers. Then there's some room for questions, and then I will end with some wise words of, a, of one of my favorite um, rally drivers of all times. So first I want to uh, open up the event officially, because last time there was some uh, start button made by Tede Venlo. And now it's fully working. <laughs> so I really appreciate all the work that they put in this. But supposedly, if I close this, there's a national hackerspace map where you can see all the hackerspaces of the Netherlands. And when we close this, we have a temporary entry on that map. So when I close the switch, in a few seconds, minutes, I don't know what the polling time is, ten we will 10 minutes, we will show up as open. So yeah, if you count down with me, we will officially open Hacker Hotel 2020. Three. <laughs> Three, two, one. So check it out on the map. We are officially open. So I want to ask, I think Dennis and Misha forward with the handheld mic to tell about their, um, about their capture the flag that they organized. They put a lot of time in it with a lot of colleagues. And there were already a lot of people that um, yeah, we posted and they already registered, but they will tell all about the rules and the, um, how to register and stuff like that. So we wait for the mic and then you will open. Oh, it's not Dennis, you, you changed a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so please give it up for Misha and Reis and they will explain about the CTF. We have slides, but nowhere to plug it in. <laughs> <laughs> Close enough. Um, so we're uh, NFER. We do a lot of cool stuff with uh, pen testing and incident response and all sorts of monitoring stuff. But we're here to talk to you about the CTF. <laughs> um, so uh, we uh, organized the CTF this year. It was a lot of fun to make. And we're basically here to tell you really quickly, the CTF exists. It's a lot of fun. Go play it. Um, we're in the, what's the room called? The Einstein room, even though it says something else on the, the program. It says Marco Polo, but close enough. Uh, they're next door, so just look for the sign that says CTF. We'll probably be in there. Um, we have some very brief rules, and I'm going to look at my slides so I don't forget. Uh, the short version is uh, be nice. Uh, the long version you can find on uh, the terms of service of the CTF site. It's uh, nfr.ctfd.io. Yeah, if you uh, guys want to find that, it's also on the website of Hacker Hotel itself. So uh, just look at the CTF uh, 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 subpage and you will find. Where's the camera? Where's the camera? <laughs> In the back there. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
It's, it's around there somewhere. Ah, there you go. There we go. That, that's totally legible. That'll work. Uh huh. Uh huh. Let's go. This is a very slow data transfer. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Uh, anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is the whole presentation. It's just me holding up my arm. Um, All right. So we have a, a max of uh, five uh, uh, people per per, uh, per team, and uh, obviously you can also just uh, join by yourself. That's no issue. But, uh, uh, you don't have to be here physically. You can play online, but you have to be here to get your prize. Uh, and we have. Naturally, we have fabulous prizes. <laughs> that's, that's real fabulous. Um, basically, first place gets uh, 500 bucks worth of gift cards. Second place, 300 bucks. And third place, 100 bucks worth of gift cards. Yeah. <laughs> ah. Well, some uh, very nice. We have a uh, total of, I think, Rice, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, 10 forensic based challenges and 10 more offensive challenges. It, it, uh, it's a big 10. Yeah, there's it's a big 10. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a baker's dozen's worth of uh, challenges. Uh, anyway, that's about the long and the short of it. Uh, you can find uh, support on uh, Libra Chat IRC. There's a. Ooh. There's a QR code uh, as well, yeah, most definitely. There's definitely a, Q a QR code. Uh, but it's a HHCTF23 channel. Uh, it's also on the website. So if you can't read it here, don't worry. Um, and you can get support from us in person, office hours. Uh, best effort outside of office hours. We'll try. Uh, you no might get a reply no at 2 AM, but that's OK. <laughs> One very important last detail. There are some physical hints spread out through this hotel. They're both digital and analog. And if you find them, you can use them to solve challenges. So go look around. And you uh -huh. will find them uh, sometimes uh, close to a uh, sticker. We have a microphone in the back. Thank you all. Thank you so much. So, event statistics. For the first time, we have had bungalow sniping. What's bungalow sniping? You have a group of friends. They want to buy a bungalow. They say, Dimitri, we want a bungalow. I said, OK, I will open it up on the side. You click and put it in your basket, and then you pay me and you have a bungalow. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. I said, but you need to be really quick because rooms are flying and if it's open for too long, someone will snatch it. Seriously, within two minutes after opening it, <laughs> the person wanting to buy the bungalow said, okay, I'm starting up my laptop now. That's wrong. <laughs> I said, how do you mean uh, starting up your laptop? You just bought it. I see an order coming in. It's paid, it's done, thank you. Somebody else had run a script that scraped the website <laughs> and bought a bungalow within two minutes from the moment I open it up until a fully completed order. So thank you for that. I really like that people like to come here so much, but <laughs> it interrupted my workflow a little. <laughs> we have uh, more sponsors. I don't know where the slides are, but uh, I'm talking. Uh, to you, but you can see them. So we have more sponsors than ever. We have more value in the sponsorship than ever. I will come back to that later. We have over 40 talks and workshops and still growing because some workshops and um, games pop up. So keep, the, keep an eye on the schedule. This is how we've grown. So we started uh, somewhere in 2014, 15, then in 2017, I didn't organize because of Shah, and I thought it would disturb the Shah organization. And then Stitch told me, 
to never do that again and just organize. <laughs> and this is what happened. And yeah, we went up and we're now with 381 participants, which is a new record. The last time it was 306. So thank you so much. <laughs> we had the main sponsor change. So during Corona times, our, uh, our main sponsor, Guardian 360, handed over the main sponsorship to Access 42 of Ronald Kingma and uh, Jeffrey Janssen and team. So thank you so much. Um, really delighted. And um, yeah, it means a lot uh, that they are our new main sponsor. But I also do want to thank Jan Martijn Broekhoff of Guardian 360 from being our main sponsor since the beginning, since we started. My sheet has been updated. <laughs> <but> <laughs> Not sure why it's not uh, changing over there. <laughs> My slides don't update, but I think I'm not sure what happens, but we'll see. Would be nice to uh, have the right slides after this one. Plug it out, plug it in again. You never know. Thank you so much. <laughs> Okay, something seems to be happening. Thanks so much. So Guardian 360, thank you so much for being our main sponsor for the last uh, five years. And, uh, <laughs> and really uh, proud that the handover was also very friendly between Jan Martijn and Ronald Kingma. So that's what I want to mention. Platinum sponsor, NFAR. I will just go through the sponsors now. So if you start clapping, these, these people make this possible. These companies make your event worthwhile and they pay for your lunch. And <laughs> Tesorion, Yaito, Red Team Security, Cyber Security, BV, Serocopter, the Dutch Ocean guy. Thank you, Nico. Secura, Dark Trace. The Internet Cleanup Foundation, Oranje IT, Cyberbase, OpenBSD, and Connect IT, and Lutra IT, Steeg Electronics for the Badge, Access 42, Event Infra for the Awesome Network, and last but not least, Steven Foxit Event Productions. Thank you so much. These are your sponsors. These make this happen. So thank you, thank you so much, and thank you for being here with all your teams and renting all these bungalows and having private events in your bungalows. So thank you so much. <laughs> now, I couldn't uh, have done this without a little help of my friends, and every year I get better at it and asking for help. And this year has really been really special. So I really want to thank uh, Chantal, who's here. <laughs> and Mendel. Who's there? Because, uh, well, they helped me tremendously. And uh, yeah, they took so much work from my hands that uh, it basically was possible to do this. And it was, it was the smoothest Hacker Hotel so far. But there was also a very big group Thursday helping out, dragging all these chairs from the other side of the building. Of course, they were the furthest away and they had to go here. And all the chairs that were here or the tables that were here, they had to go all the way to the hack room. So there's been some uh, people really practicing out, which is good for hackers. <laughs> and the team was, uh, were people from UK, Netherlands, Luxembourg, and Hungary. So thank you so much for this international team helping out. <laughs> and then we have some house rules. As always, I try to put them somewhere in the middle. It's very important. You have to listen to them. And uh, yeah, then we have a nice... Hacker Hotel, um, and keep the stuff uh, in one piece so we can come back. So first rule in hacking is rule zero, don't be on fire. So don't light yourself, don't put yourself on fire. There's a fire breathing workshop, but that's not meant to set yourself on fire, so be careful. Do not light flamethrowers inside. You, m you might burn the place down. <laughs> This is a really important one, next to the fun we had, but 
Do not stick in a hotel, please. We have a lot of stickers. Hackers love stickers. Put them on your laptops. Put them everywhere on your own stuff. But please, please, please do not put them on hotel property because we have to get them off. And that nice team from UK, Hungary, Luxembourg and the Netherlands will have to remove all these stickers long after you are gone. So please don't do that to us. Then we also have a nice uh, Sunday evening. Report all breakages. If you're in a bungalow, something isn't working, by incident you walk into a lamp or whatever, just report it. It's probably not on purpose. So think positively, just report it, then we can fix it and not trash a bungalow and then somebody complaining that something was broken. Just mention it, it's no problem. Even s small, doesn't matter. Just report it to the hotel, please. No smoking inside. So on the, all the premises and the bungalows, it's all off limits. Don't smoke, just smoke outside, please. We have a late checkout again. As I said, we're hackers. So you can check out your rooms. Uh, the hotel rooms can be checked out at 7 a, uh, p.m. Sunday evening. So you can really sleep in late if you want, even miss my uh, closing talk and still you be on time checking out. So you can uh, have a late checkout. We have a registration uh, forms, the flip-overs. They are near the bar entrance and there's all the workshops that are there. If you want to do a workshop yourself, just write it down. Maybe with contact details, how people can contact you. And then people can register for your workshop there. And then some are at the rooms. So they are very special workshops. Um, I don't know, but um, sounds cool. Okay, wasn't prepared for that. Impressioning is up here. And then up here is the, uh, well, I'll come back to that later. And the NFER is also here. So very important. Be excellent to each other. We don't have a very complete um, set of guidelines. We're all adults. I still believe that everybody can be excellent to each other. Just use common sense. But to help you a little, uh, especially in the contact, not everybody is very comfortable having like hugs and um, yeah, hugs, kisses or whatever. So we have three bands. If you have a green band, I'll show mine. It says, hugs are cool. You can hug me. Please come from the front. <laughs> Don't jump on my back. <laughs> but hugs are cool. You're welcome. So, and it's very important. We chose green, like green light. You can go ahead. You can hug me. But the hotel chose green for the first shift. So please be careful if you f <laughs> before you jump someone that it doesn't say West Court because that means that they have the early shift. Then we have orange, that's fist pumps only, so you have some contact but not uh, too close. And the red is, please keep your distance. And please, I cannot stress this enough, please, I want everybody to cooperate and follow these rules and respect each other's privacy in this. And uh, Stitch told me to say, don't be an asshole. I used to say, don't be a dick, but an asshole everyone has. So please don't be an asshole and keep it nice. Please don't bring your own drinks. Last time there were people telling the waiter to stop and then they filled up their glass and they asked for a whiskey and then they poured in some Coca-Cola they brought themselves. So yeah, that's not how it works. We have a nice price and yeah, the hotel kind of hopes you buy the drinks there. We have mate, so you can order mate at the bar, but please don't bring your own drinks into the bar. The bungalow checkout. You can leave all your bedding in the hallway. In the past, we used to bring it in the hotel in big containers. It's not needed anymore. You can just leave it on a big pile and then the cleaning lady will take it out. So very easy to check out. Just drop your bedding there and it's done. If you need clean towels or whatever, you can always go to the reception. So if you want to have uh, one or two or three towels a day, it's no problem. If you want to go in the wellness, we have a wellness area. It starts at three o'clock in the afternoon, runs normally until 11, but since we're hackers. It runs later, so you can probably stay until one or something at night in the sauna. So you report to the reception desk, they give you a big towel. Normally it's 20 euros per person to use the wellness area, but I found a very, very friendly man. And he's sitting here and he pays for all your sauna visits. So <laughs> use the sauna. Thanks, Mendel.
If you have any issues during the event, please come to me. If there's something not to your liking, please come to me. If I'm the issue, talk to Chantal. <laughs> so, yeah, I hope to have solved that. If you're a woman and you want to talk to a woman, or you identify as a woman, please talk to Chantal, or you don't want to talk to me, it's fine, but then at least you have multiple ways of contact contacting the organization. So, um, anything, just come to me. Good or bad. Now, I already told you about this badge. And, uh, yeah, I'm really, really glad we have a badge. It was awesome. The core team is Pim, Saka and Nicolette. Pim did the programming and the design of the PCB. Saka did a lot of the puzzles and the logic behind uh, all the buttons and switches. And Nicolette did the awesome artwork and hide some puzzles in here as well. Norbert is our manager, uh, manager manufacturer that does the batch production. In uh, China, he arranges all the stuff from the PCB and putting all the parts on it and the, the prints and stuff. And Tom is also here. He helped a lot in the background and yeah, also supported the team. So And there was another guy, but his name is not here. But he... Sorry? We, uh, okay. We'll get back to that in the batch talk. But the funny thing is, two weeks after the last event, and yes, that was three years ago, after two weeks, Pim came up to me and he showed me a working prototype. So two weeks after the... It was a lighthouse. And it was uh, really cool. And then from there it started and it evolved into what you have now. Normally we have the batch workshops. There's the batch team people here. They know how much work goes into that. You have to flash the batch. You have to check the batch. You have to package it. There's a sticker of a sponsor that needs to go in. There needs to be a key cord. So it's like a long production line. And people will yeah, pack your batch and make it ready to hand it out to you. So a lot of work happens in the before we can hand it out. But this was really, really nice because we started in Bitlayer Hackerspace at two o'clock on the Saturday. We had to wait before the other people left. 2.30 we set up shop. Three o'clock we started working and five o'clock everything was flashed, packed and in the back. So that was really cool and thank you for the people that helped that day. But it was impressive. In two hours, 420 batches. The yield was 99%. So only four broke, and we don't know if they can be fixed because we had enough. So it wasn't really like, oh, we have to fix these. But it was impressive. And Sunday, there will be a batch talk in this room. Um, I have three o'clock, but I have messed up before. so. <laughs> but probably three o'clock. Look in the schedule. Pim will talk about the batch. And I think uh, Saak and Nicolette will also join in that talk. And they will tell about the process of making a batch like this. You don't want to miss it. There is, uh, there is new firmware available, and you need it to complete the adventure. So yes, the batch is working, it is all fine, but there is new firmware needed, and then you can complete the adventure. An adventure? Yes, an adventure. And I won't tell anything more, then it is nice for you to find out. The batch team will be in the hardware hacking area, that's the area on the other side of the hotel, the big room. And they will be on the left side. If you enter the hall, they will be on the left side. Or they will be in the bar. So find people of... <laughs> Pim is here. And uh, that's Pim. Saak is there. And Nicolette is all the way in the back. So find one of them. And you can always ask questions. And maybe they can give you a hint or not. I'm not sure. And be careful when you put the coin shell in. There's two prongs sticking out. And if you jam the battery in, it will probably die. So... So stick it in under an angle and then fold the battery down. And then it, uh, it won't die. But it is repairable. Yeah, this is a story on itself. The merchandise. As you can see, I'm wearing the only existing sample in the Netherlands at this moment probably. But we have a lot of issues importing these from Turkey because on the box it says network cables and there is clothing in it and <laughs> people got really nervous and there's <laughs> copper in it. So, but we have an awesome new clothing designer. People that went to MCH, they know this designer. They, they know this company, it's eigen label. It's the company of Frank. And I'm really, really proud that Aldert and Misha brought me in contact with him because they make awesome stuff. 
They have the MCH um, hoodie with the different colored uh, sleeve on it. So I thought like, wow, this is cool. And these guys can make anything. So I want a network cable, a real network cable as a cord in here. So this is one of the nice features. There's, uh, there's Velcro here. As I always say, Feni Fidi Velcro. I came, I saw, I stuck around. <laughs> but you can move this. Everybody will get the one that says visitor, I think. And then there's some place, I don't know where, but then there's also speaker and there is also organization. So we can swap this out. And some sponsors already made their own. So you can make this and have your own patch on here. It's got nice uh, woven... Uh, Woven bands on the side that says Hacker Hotel. And it's got really, really nice details and it's very warm. But uh, <laughs> that's nice. So we have a functional patch cable, we have the Velcro patch, Fanny Vidi Velcro, test the woven band. And we had lots of issues. It is a chance that they are um, coming in. But it's not sure at this moment. And I wish it looked like, yes, we're going to pick them up and driving. It's still possible, but could be that we have to bring them in tomorrow. If it doesn't work, I'm very, very sorry. Also, the supplier, they can do anything about it. It's done. It's, it's ready. It's packaged. It's in boxes. It is in the Netherlands, but it needs to go to the office and then here. So we are still waiting. And uh, yeah, I trust that it will be okay but I cannot promise it will be during this weekend. Um, I hope you stick with us um, and we will fix it for you. And also the people abroad, we will make sure you get your goodies, even if I have to bring it myself. Check out Eigen Label. They are in the Mozart room. That's the room. If you go to the hack room, left end of the hall, Frank brought a lot of really cool hacking, nerdy, geeky t-shirts. And he also has a uh, transverse of Hacker Hotel, so he can press you a substitute. It's not as cool as this one, but if you want something or you missed out on the first buy, you can still buy them. And I will go talk to Frank because there is an opportunity to order hoodies. So there is an opportunity, but it's not for everyone. So it's probably 50. So we, you go to Mozart, you go to talk to Frank, and then we can start taking in orders. Um, I hope we can fix it again. I'm totally sorry that it uh, that it's not here now, but this is how it looks. And I hope you bear with us. But thank you so much then, and thanks to Frank. <laughs> Other events, because you are here, and some people are here for the first time. They said, "Wow, I didn't expect this. This is cool. This is fun." Um, Maybe you're a reverse hacker. Most people want to be in a hotel and dislike camping, but there's a lot of people that like camping. And then I can really recommend some of the other events. So if you want to be intense, you want to be hacking, there will be camp zone this year. It moved to Zoetermeer, which is a different city than it was before. They have a hack zone. So within the, it's like a gaming, it's like a big LAN party. It's connected, it's fast, it's, it's cool. Event Infra is uh, doing their networks as well. And they have a hack zone, and it's basically tents incorporated, and you can do hacking all weekend, all week. So check that out if you want to stay in the Netherlands. My personal favorite abroad, next to EMF, but it's not this year, is Bornek. So I can really, 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 really recommend. And also there is Hack Er Op Uit. It's not in my slide, but it's being presented as we talk. So Hack Er Op Uit. Is also some hacking, sounds Dutch, so it's probably in the Netherlands. <laughs> but coming back to Borneck, I've been there a few times. New line. Yeah. New line. What is new line? <laughs> See, this is very interactive, eh? This. <laughs> First or second of April, it's very interactive. Go to Belgium, Belgium Gent. <laughs> so go to the, uh, the hack space there. But coming back, Borneck, really nice. It's a nice country, very nice people, and basically, it was like a vacation. You were on a hacker camp and it's like a work in progress. Stuff is being built and the bar gets nicer every night. There's lights there and every time you come there, something else has happened. Then there's a crazy Belgian guy. He makes like a slide for adults. 
So then the slide is turning into a swing, and then I don't know uh, if you have if he has enough time. It's probably got loopings in it as well. Bornek, you should definitely check it out. Probably in beginning of August again this year. So please check the website. I can really, really recommend, and the organization, very nice people, and I'm proud that they are here all the way from Denmark. So thank you so much for Bornek. <laughs> they had flamethrowers last year. I don't know how they got there. So okay. <laughs> And then, of course, this year again, CCC every four years uh, in the interleaved schedule with the Netherlands. It's Germany. Then in between is uh, EMF. Then it's the, the Dutch hacker camps, and it's it's alternating. But now it's CCC time. So if you want to go to Germany, it's uh, where it all originated, I think, uh, back in the 80s, the Computer Cars Club. So really awesome events. Now some short history lesson. I keep it short. Connected Freedom Foundation, that's the foundation where, from where I organize a Hacker Hotel together with my uh, treasurer, Dennis, who is in the room there. We started 20 years ago. We were a gaming event as well. We did LAN parties. I worked at the bank. They uh, replaced the whole trading floor network system, which was at the time Ethernet ports to the clients, and the backbone was 622 megabits. And they wanted to get rid of it after 1.5 years. They discovered that Ethernet was the way to go. So they had, uh, in 2003, they decided to take out that ATM network and they had 1 million euros worth of networking equipment. They would like to give it to me. But yeah, I'm, an, I'm a person. Then you have like tax laws and you give away a million euros in stuff that has not been dep deprecated enough for the company. So it's worth something. So you either have to sell it or you have to give it away to a legal entity. So that's the reason why we started the foundation. So the foundation got the big donation, not me. So we organized until 2016 in Hacker Hotel. Yeah, since we already had uh, experience doing events in a hotel, doing games together. Yeah, I got older as well, stopped playing games, or maybe the games got more expensive, I don't know. But yeah. I wanted to do my own hacker event, so we started, and with the experience in the hotels and having already the deals and the good prices and good pricing scheme, we started Hacker Hotel. So that's a bit of the history. And the cable in the hoodie, it says your hoodie, you have to wait a little, but it will be okay. But this cable, this symbolizes uh, the name Connected Freedom came from that we were connected but we playing by playing games and we were connected by the network cable. But the games you played, they were varied from people to people. So you had the freedom to play whatever you liked, as long as you don't bother someone. And we were connected, so that's the name Connected Freedom explained. And the cable symbolizes the 20-year anniversary of our foundation. So yeah. <laughs> so now, there's a nice project also during this weekend. You can see various pictures here. Unfortunately, our friend Ian Kampuis, he's still missing, and he is missed. Let it be very clear. Uh, Dennis van Zeilekom, the third picture, the guy with the nicely coiled hair. He's our, uh, yeah, our friendly photographer. He does workshops in his studio upstairs here. So if you need a picture for your website, for a work, um, I don't know, to use somewhere as a when you were asked to present something or you go to a conference. You can make the pictures. You can bring your own stuff to lighten up the picture if you want to be with your favorite laptop or your favorite piece of network equipment. He will make a picture and he will make it look good. So he's here on the boards downstairs. You can write and register your name for a workshop, workshop slot. There's mostly a few people an hour. And then he makes the pictures, he asks you what you want, how you like it, and he gives his own twist, and he makes the best pictures. So he's up. That's the floor up here. You are free to use the pictures. The only thing he asks is be credited. He makes the picture, please mention his name. Just have like a picture by Dennis van Zuylecom or copyright, or, but please mention him. He does this for free. You can use it wherever you like, professionally or privately. But please credit Dennis van Zuylecom as your photographer. But I really, really yeah, want to stress this out. And yeah, try it, and you will see he makes nice, nice pictures. 
So thank you, Dennis. I'm looking where Dennis is. Dennis is in the back. So uh, yeah, look him up and then uh, have your picture taken. And the project is called Shoot All the Hackers. Figuratively speaking, of course. So now, thank you so much. Are there any questions? There's a question over here. Mm, no, <laughs> no, Mendel. If you set somebody else on fire, is that other person violating you? You both be violated. <laughs> you both have to leave the event. Yes, uh, Stefan. If I'm on fire, am I allowed to smoke? <laughs> outside, outside. Good question. I like these questions. Keep them coming. Rule. No, we could be more people in the ISC channel. So um, yeah, you can live it up. Go to the the ISC channel of Hacker Hotel. There is a, we have it on. Uh, somebody help me with server. <laughs> Smurfnet on Smurfnet ISC channel Hacker Hotel. Please drop in. Um, I will send out because this is good. You bring it up. We had had some issues with contact. You will order. You had your uh, your tickets. You came to the hotel, so probably it was clear enough that it was today. But still, I received some emails of people, was it today? What? You only had three years to realize this, but <laughs> that means that my communication can be better. So we will work on that. And I'm thinking of making a mailing list. I know you don't like those. I even don't use it to mail you guys, because you order a ticket and you didn't sign up for a mailing list. So that's why I refused using those email addresses, as I think it should. But there might be need for, uh, we might need another communication channel, and I'm still working out. So if you have any suggestions how we can improve on that, I'd like to know. But probably we will make a mailing list that you can sign up for. I won't spam you, I won't send you other stuff, but I will send you when the ticket sales opens, because that is very important. We sell out in two days, so if you miss it by two days, sorry, you have to wait two years, because one year until the event, and then hopefully you get a ticket for the next event. Um, so if you have a mailing list and you sign up, then you could be the first to buy tickets. So any suggestions how to improve? Let me know. Sorry? What about facts? A German is asking something. <laughs> no, no. I can fax you. That would be nice. You want to be faxed? Well, maybe you make a mailing list that we can fax it out to you. But uh, yeah. OK. Any other question? Here. And, uh, Lotte and Esther. Where do we get the badge? Where do you get the badge? Okay. <laughs> Be excellent to each other. That's also for the crew. Okay, the badge you can get if you don't have received your badge yet. Then you walked straight past the check-in desk, which could be possible because the people are here. But No, that's correct. So we will be there. They were on break. But you can pick it up uh, across the reception desk. If you missed it out tonight, we will probably after 12 uh, can sort you out. Just look me up or Chantal and we'll fix it for you. So if you haven't been able to check in, we will sort you out. But it's a good question. And yeah, also the crew had worked so hard, so they had to eat. So, <laughs> Mac. So. Uh, it might be nice if the people who are standing right now there uh, could change over the car or that we have some schedule who will charge when so that there won't be any trouble around that. Yeah, as, uh, as we are a very sustainable uh, event, <laughs> I have never had to deal with this before, but it's a good question. Maybe the people that drive electrically can find each other right on the board maybe and start some schedule. It's a good question. I don't know if I'm the right person to solve it. I drive a diesel car, but, <laughs> but it's a good suggestion. So maybe you can start something on the bite board, the flip over board next to the bar. Well and then people can, yeah, I don't know, contact each other or write down when you think it's finished and then move the cars around. So uh, yeah, that's better than putting a generator outside. So <laughs> any other questions? I can see. So if there's no more questions, then I 
My fan club is amazing, and at least they're all dressed in yellow. And uh, yeah, give it up for my fan club. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> there was one last question over there, but Bart. There's one car allowed per bungalow, as I'm correct, but I'm not sure if there's um, charging infrastructure. And if you can run a cable inside, I'm not sure if that's allowed. So please use the the, the charging um, yeah the charging cables in the front of the hotel. There's four positions I just learned. So, and then now I want to finish off with some wise words from Ken Block. Ken Block is one of my uh, favorite rally drivers. He died last uh, December in a or the, the second of January actually in a snowmobile accident. He was one of the amazing stunt drivers. He sold his company DC Shoes, and then he had lots of money and lots of free time, and he drove and he made the most awesome movies. Look them up on YouTube. I really love them. The next video I'm gonna show is also copyrighted by Hoonigan. That's the tuner of very fast cars. So I will switch to my uh, media player, and he has some wise words. I guess my only legacy would be that I, I like creative stuff and I like fun stuff, you know, and I, I don't take life too serious. But at the end of the day, I try and inspire people to uh, be creative and live a fun life. And don't be an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I wanted to say. Thank you so much. Enjoy Hacker Hotel. You can go quickly to the bar to get some refreshing drinks if you like. The next chairs, speaker. Chairs, chairs. 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 Okay, thank you for reminding me. It's not on my slides and then I forget. <laughs> Tonight, after the talks are finished, we don't need 400 chairs anymore, but the NFIR CTF upstairs, Dennis might need some waiting chairs, and the workshop for the impressioning, they need chairs. So tonight, after the musical, which will be in Dutch, it's not translatable. So the first, the first three talks will be English. Then we end up in a Dutch um, musical. But after the musical, we need like 50 people, 60 people stacking up the chairs on the carts, and then we drive the carts upstairs, and then we move like 60 chairs up. So from then on, we have 320 chairs, which still will be enough for the most uh, most talks. So if you want to help out tonight, that would be of great help. So first, a short break now. We do a swap over. The next speaker will be, I'm very honored that he's here, will be Nico Dakens, the Dutch OSINT guy, and he will talk about the past, the present, and the future of OSINT. So just get something to drink. We swap over, and then at 9 o'clock straight, sharp at 9 o'clock, we start. We have to go through the program. So see you. Thank you. <laughs>